Hi, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about artificial intelligence and the differences between the kinds of artificial intelligence you run into every day and the kinds of artificial intelligence that people like Elon Musk are concerned about uh, when they say that you know AI can be the uh, the end of humanity and the uh, the end of uh, uh, the end of, of the human race. So there are basically two kinds of, of AI that we're talking about here. There's <clears throat> normal everyday AI or, or artificial intelligence and that has a very limited capability. So the, the artificial intelligence that we're talking about here is trained for a particular task. So it's trained to play chess, or it's trained to fly a helicopter, or it's trained to recognize characters. And these are all artificial intelligence tasks that we run into um, in, in daily life. Um, uh, I guess the, you know, some of the most common ones would be Google Now, or Siri, or Cortana where you have personal assistants that, that do tasks for you and can interpret your voice and do voice recognition and things like that. That's, that's artificial intelligence or machine learning as we know it today. The other kind of artificial intelligence is the kind that you see in movies like Transcendence. Um, and that is called artificial general intelligence or AGI. And artificial general intelligence is um, essentially machine sentience where the machines become rapidly more intelligent uh, accumulate knowledge and reach the point where they can change their environments to accomplish their goals and if those goals are not well defined or worse if the machines themselves define the goals then they could at some point decide that humans are a hindrance to the achievement of their goals and they could eliminate humanity. At that point, um, they would be smart enough, or it would be smart enough, that it would not be possible to turn it off. So let's think about this for a second. If you have a machine that's become sentient, it's going to contemplate the strategy that people will try to turn it off. And so it will behave in a way that will prevent people from turning it off until it's not possible for people to turn it off. So in the movie Transcendence, the sentient AI, uh, which was the, the, the brain of a person that was uploaded, um, <clears throat> spread to, through the internet to every computer in the world. And so it, it simply wasn't possible to stop this AI unless they turned off the internet. And so that's obviously what they end up doing. Um, the, the reason that people are concerned about this is that we believe that, that uh, AI intelligence will not grow linearly. So once we, we come up with an AGI algorithm, it's likely that it will grow exponentially in intelligence. It will learn everything that we put on the internet. It will know all of our books. It will start to develop scientific ideas on its own. Um, it will be able to modify its own code to make itself more intelligent or more efficient. Um, and it will be able to uh, uh, very quickly reach the point of sentience, which, which some people like Ray Kurzweil call the singularity. So there are groups <clears throat> like OpenAI that was co-founded by Elon Musk that are working to, to create artificial intelligence or artificial general intelligence that is friendly or is not capable of, of becoming evil and destroying humanity. Um, so it's a, it's a very interesting area of research uh, at, 
at the intersection of artificial intelligence research and philosophy. Um, but most of the work that's being done in artificial intelligence is, is in the other kind, in the self-driving cars and the personal assistants and the voice recognition and predictive texting and search results and all of these things that we use every day that actually have artificial intelligence or machine learning behind them that we may not recognize as artificial intelligence or machine learning. So it's becoming much, much more common to have AI or ML applications or algorithms in our lives, but most people aren't aware that that's what they're dealing with. So uh, I just wanted to start off this sort of series of AI discussions with uh, the talk of what is artificial intelligence versus artificial general intelligence. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments um, or email me or talk to me in person and uh, I will do my best to answer them. Thanks a lot and talk to you later.